What's up guys? It's Lady Catherine here and with the weather being as bad as it is, we are currently in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> Go figure, rain to Missouri weather. Um, I really w I wanted to make a few videos today as it's been a little bit since the last one and a lot of the uh, ones prior to this have been um, really old book reviews and things like that and I want to bring fresh brand new content and not just post old things so with the for this video this is another confessions of a witch video I kind of want to talk a little bit about what's been keeping me away from YouTube now I'm not going to be going into great excruciating detail on this one um, as I believe my YouTube channel is still being watched by the other party involved in what's been keeping me away from YouTube and I don't need I don't need any more drama all right from them but I feel like I need to kind of give you guys a little bit of an explanation of what's been going on things like that okay so aside from work and running my business and writing my book that's been keeping me from YouTube what also has been is we have been fighting with some people who used to live here in this house. Um, my wife and I, it just it's like ever since day one when we moved in, they've just had issue after issue after issue. And it's caused fight after fight after fight. And then now they're gone. So that's going to be like the gist of that whole thing. But um, in an attempt to be respectful to them and to not wake them up with a bunch of noise, I literally had planned my YouTube videos accordingly around their weird ass sleeping schedule. Like, they'd go to bed at 5 a.m. and wake up at 5 in the afternoon. And, you know, and if I wanted needed to make a video in between there, then I would literally have to go freeze my butt off outside uh, on the porch to make a video. And it just made it very unpleasant. And I really, that's why I never made videos, because I didn't want to go out in the cold to make videos. All right. But since they're no longer here, I'm actually down in the basement, down here where they used to live. I've decided since I'll come down here and make videos since my wife and child are asleep upstairs right now. Um, so that's why I haven't been around. So why am I making these? Why am I making another Confessions of a Witch video? Well, I'm in the middle of a of several YouTube videos, which I'm just going to show you the book. I'm not going to show you what's coming. Um, but we are looking at two more, com um, not confessions of which, but like I will be doing a video on two more topics for becoming a witch today. Um, I'll let you know that now. One of those is going to be, uh, one of those is going to be on starting a book of shadows or grimoire and the other one will be on meditation. Um, so I'm really excited. I have not had much time to really dive down and get the series going a hundred percent as in becoming as the series is more on the theory and studying and building a foundation side instead of actually going into spell work and things like that. Those will be the last two episodes to this series. We'll talk about rituals. We'll talk about spells. We'll talk about uh, recipes. I think recipes. I'd have to look at my list of what I have planned. So I'm really excited to finally be able to do not one, but do two new installments to the series because I want to get this basic 101 series over with. Um, so that way we can move on and I have like, what is it, like three? No, I probably have about 12 more series that I want to do as well. Um, also what I'll be doing today as well is I'll be recording quite a few challenge videos and tag videos. Um, I'm going to work on the Mystical Seekers Year Challenge. I did that a while back, but then I turned around and I did it personally. So I'm going to actually redo the videos. Those will be in about three part, two to three parts. I'm going to go all the way back to 2016 and do the YouTube Pagan Challenge for 2016 if I can find the challenge questions. Um, the same goes for 2017. I am debating on doing last year's challenge, which is the ABCs of Witchcraft, and I am debating on doing this year's YouTube Pagan Challenge, which is the ABCs of Mythology as well. Um, and then there is another tag. There is a I think it's called Wayward Witches and something else. I can't remember what the title is off the top of my head. 
that tag video, I will be doing that as well. And this, I'll be putting all the challenges and tags into one playlist, but all my challenges and tags will be in one to three parts for a video, so they are going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos. Uh, mainly because challenges usually are like they're like oh, you do so many a week kind of thing and or so many a month I'm going to try to get them done and gone through all in as many as many different videos as possible if I do do this year's though I will not be posting parts one two and three right away I will probably do part one this month part two next month and part three like in a month or two or something like that um, but to get through the older challenges that I have already done in one way, shape, or form. Um, in order to get through those, I will be posting parts one, two, and three as I get them completed and I get them edited and get them all uploaded, obviously. And of course, getting their custom thumbnails because I'm having a lot of fun with the custom thumbnails, even though they're the same basic concept. You know, it's just uh, it's one of those things I'm having fun with, so I'm going to keep doing it as you know the goal of this whole channel is to you know communicate network and you know make connections within the YouTube pagan community or pagan community in general to be honest and not only that but also to kind of share my knowledge my viewpoints my beliefs with the world um, and YouTube is the easiest medium to do that because just about everybody damn near uses YouTube so yeah definitely if the, anybody that works at YouTube watches this video thank you guys for this platform <laughs> it's really helped me and I enjoy it I enjoy making the YouTube videos so yes and hopefully here here hopefully soon I have a couple of I think I have like one or two more books that are ready to be reviewed plus I have an entire list of books I've reviewed years ago um, not years ago, um, I've read years ago that I've been rereading that will be coming up on the review block. So we'll be putting those books on the chopping block and I'll tell you what I like about them, what I don't like about them, things like that. Um, I think my reviews are going to be a little bit different. I think we're going to have a different setup, like I'll actually use my screen capture software and I will get an image of the book and then me talking about it in the side. Um, so that way there's a lot less distractions. Other than you see the book, you can memorize the cover, the title, the author, all of that, and go check it out for yourself. So, we'll see. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, as I don't have a lot of the books that I've read in the past as they were library books. So, I'm going to have to do them in a very different way than what I've done with the Kindle books. And what I've done with books that I do have, uh, the few that I do have physically still with me. There's been a lot of changes to my library, and I'm not for sure if I'm gonna if I like the if I like all the changes or what. But a lot of the older books that I have read, I have been able to find Kindle editions of. I just haven't been able to purchase them yet. We're working on it. So a few other things, uh, real quickly before we go, because I think we're about nine minutes. Sorry, I'm looking around. I have a light ring over here, so I'm looking around the light ring at the time that it's showing me for the video recording. But, um, real quickly, hopefully, 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 can get a few new things up there, or, uh, up on the business. I'm going to actually be utilizing the storefront, so I will post a link on the website to the storefront as well, because we have the appointments for the services, and then we're going to be doing a little bit for the storefront. Um, and what I currently have up there is my photography. Uh, I use, I call it Lotus Photography because I don't know, I just really like the Lotus Flower and a lot of what I do is very spiritual related nature photography and shots and things like that. And so what I've decided to do is go ahead and sell my photography in digital format for a set amount of money and go from there on my prints uh, on that. But you buy that and you can use it for anything you need personal wise, not business wise. If you want to use it for business, then you have to contact me and we'll work out something. So definitely uh, really excited about that. Uh, the first collection, which is actually the black and white collection that I have put together, has five individual shots in it. And they're actually the first five shots that I 
ever did from any of my photography stuff. So I'm really excited to bring that uh, bring that out uh, into uh, fruition and moving that around. Eventually, I want to offer canvas prints and other things as well. But I'm I'm working out all the logistics of everything behind the scenes in order to bring the different formats of my photography to life as well. All right, now. With that, on the storefront, we will be doing an apothecary. We will be doing a, uh, I'll be doing a poth an apothecary for essences. I'll be doing an incense line. We'll have an essential, a magical oil, like essential oil line. For those who can't maybe smudge, you can use a, you can use a smudging essential oil blend uh, in water with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and spray it in the air. I use it myself. Everything that I make essential oil wise, I do use on myself. Everything I make uh, crystal essence wise, I use it on myself first. I am my product tester. I am my the creator of my product. You know, I do everything behind the scenes. Um, you know, we're also going to have some incense. I'm going to actually make herbal incense as well. They're actually going to be, uh, we're going to, I'm going to sell them as herbal blends because you can use that. You can put them in, you can roll your candle in them for spell work. You can put it on a charcoal bouquette and turn it into an incense and utilize that as well. Um, you can put it around the bottom of a candle for spell work. You know, you can take and you can essentially do whatever you want but I am also going to be doing magical oils as well which are used for candle dressing specifically not essential oil but actual like oils like I'll actually take and steep the herbs in the oil and things like that and get them going in fact I just brought from the uh, place we used to live I just brought the my entire crate of herbs so I can start creating blends and things I'm like so motivated, you know, now that, you know, my biggest stressor and energy drain is out of the house, I have more energy than anything to really sit down, create these recipes that I'm going to be selling in my store and get things moving. It feels good, guys. It really does. So, you know, keep on the lookout for that. Definitely take a browse through my photography, go to my appointments page and... Definitely look at the uh, various services I offer there. I will be offering tarot at some point here soon. Like that's going to be the like soon as in within the next four months. Um, and then hopefully by next year, I'll also be offering rune readings. I will be removing oracle readings as I'm going to be retiring from the oracle, from the realm of oracle cards. And I'm going to focus on just tarot and rune reading. And then, of course, tea leaf readings, but I'm not going to be doing those public uh, professionally. I'm going to be using that as my own personal form of divination that I do not do for others. You know, a girl's got to have their, uh, got to have her own, um, her own form of divination. So there's quite a lot going on over here. I mean, I got some things in the works. I'm still working on doing some stuff with some tweaking and things like that with the website for Dragon's Heart. We are gonna keep with Dragon's Heart. I think what we're gonna do though is we're gonna drop the metaphysical supplies and services from the actual like big name and just call it Dragon's Heart and then have our little tagline metaphysical supplies and services. You know, just something very basic, very simple and go from there. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really, really super excited, and I'm really, really ready to go and get this all going. Like, it's like, it's like all the ideas in my head are the flash, and they're just shh, faster than I can actually hold on to in some days. So with that being said, sorry about that, I just can't the tripod by accident. But with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go in this video. I will see you in the next video, which will be a Becoming a Witch video. And until next time, guys, namaste.